so hey there this is ayush from master mechanical design and this is 24th video of this channel in this video i just want to share the main intention of this channel also what type of content we gonna do in future on this channel in upcoming years so in my entire 10 year of experience as a machine design engineer after designing more than 500 machines also completing more than 30 courses apart from my graduation in mechanical engineering i have realized the most important thing second most important thing that the machine design is not just a job it's actually a calculated art of each individual and this art needs multiple skill sets skill sets like core mechanical engineering cad modeling geometrical dimensioning and tolerance gdnt fe analysis material science and material treatment industrial component calculation and its selection procedure deeply understanding of manufacturing process project cost estimation and a specific industry and a specific product design guidelines where we are working like for me it's general machine design or you can say a special purpose machine design but for you or for someone it could be a specific industry based design like automobile hpac plastic industry or aerospace industry or it could be a specific product design also product like cars steering system car headlights car tires ac fridge mobile phone or whatever we are seeing around us but in every mechanical design field these skill sets are common between all design engineers and then i realized the most important thing first most important thing that only knowing or mastering the one skill or even all those skills cannot make us a good design engineer because the mechanical designing is not only about the engineering it's an art also so we can be a good mechanical design engineer only and only if that we know that how to use our common sense imagination and critical thinking to apply these all skills together to design something optimized cost effective and useful and this is the main purpose of this channel to explain all those skill sets in a connected way in a practical way which can help you to enhance your critical thinking imagination power also the designing common sense or if you are already experienced like more than me so this channel can at least give you a alternative perspective of the same design that you have already done so many times but if you are completely beginner and not understanding that whatever i am saying then let me try to explain the same thing in another way let's say i am very good at cad modeling and i am also able to model my ideas and my concept in a cad software but i am not good at making detailed design under industrial guidelines for the manufacturing then there is no benefit of doing cad modeling no matter whatever software i am using like solidworks katia fusion 360 nx or anything there is no benefit if i cannot make the design for manufacturing but let's say what if i am good at cad modeling and also good at detailed designing but I haven't studied well in university and I don't have much theoretical knowledge, calculative skills and FEA skills, then I cannot do the proper selection of mechanical elements. For example, if I don't know what is the torque, what is the movement of inertia, what is the buckling load, what is the vibration, and most importantly, how to calculate these things in all the different situations. And if I don't know, then I cannot make the proper selection of ball screw, bearings, motor, or anything like material, I cannot make the selection. But what if I'm good at detailed designing as well as the selection procedure? But I haven't deeply understood the manufacturing process and GDNT. Then I cannot make the proper GDNT drawings. And if I cannot make the drawings with proper GDNT, then the part will be not manufactured in proper tolerance and GDNT control. For one part, we can do the rework to fit into the assembly. But for the batch of the part, like thousands of the part, reworking is not possible. So we have to have mastered all those skills 
and this is why the mechanical design is interesting as well as it's tough. And now let's discuss the plan and future content of this channel and i have roughly divided the channel content in three pages at this moment we are at the beginning of the first page in this stage like for two three years we will try to cover all the basics machine design or most popular machine design plus we will also cover the selection calculation and selection procedure of all most important mechanical elements as per your request and also as per my experience and in parallel of machine design and selection procedure we will also master the gdnt from complete basics like tolerance fits to the advanced level like datum shift and after master all those basic things no matter how much it will take time we will enter in second phase where we will mainly focus on industry's top level product design like customized EGV, customized drone design, customized robotic design, Iron Man suit, just kidding. But in this phase, we will try to explore the highest level of mechanical design engineering. And then I can expect to go viral on YouTube worldwide. And then we will have some earning. Then we can also manufacture the same to maximize our clarity. And when we will have the complete understanding of the industrial product design in to out. And if we will also have a large community of engineers, maybe our five, six year, I don't know. Then we can enter into the third phase where we will mainly focus on new innovation in different fields mostly non-industrial field like low-cost farming equipments, kit and tools for physically disabled person, hand workers and there is a lot more in my mind where actually engineering needs at low cost and where we have to work together because we all have different experience, different expertise. We'll make the idea together, discuss the idea together. We will work on each part optimization in every aspect to make the cost as minimum, to make the impossible things possible. And the benefit of doing this will be any individual can use our design to manufacture and assemble it as per our instruction and build the solution at any place in the world, even without our help. And this is the end goal of this channel. It sounds like dreaming in a day, but you believe me or not believe me, if we a large community of design engineers will work together on a same idea, on a same product, we can change the world. And here is some reality. This is not only my channel, this is your channel too. I'm making videos just because you are watching. So usually I don't ask to subscribe or like or comment or anything because I don't feel like a typical YouTuber. I'm not. Also my motivation is not in numbers. My motivation is when you say that last video was useful to you, you learned something new or you ask some questions and shows your interest to learn more. This is the, my main motivation and this means a lot to me. Also, I want to know that what you are thinking all about this. And also, I am open for logical criticism because I know I am not perfect. I never be perfect because I am not from NASA. This t-shirt I just buy yesterday. Thank you so much for the watching.